Watch as I upcycle two Bombay end tables. I love giving life to old things, creating and crafting. I'm Kathy with Goods and Vintage Treasures and welcome to my channel. I found not one but two Bombay end tables at an estate sale. They were a little bit chipped up so I used some wood putty to fill in the little chips and holes. When you apply the wood putty, I like to press it in with my finger until I get the holes filled in. I leave it a little rough on top. Then I take sandpaper when it's dry and smooth it out. Once it was smooth, I wiped it off with a cloth. After I washed the whole piece, it was ready to paint. I decided to paint them all white using White Swan. The sampler brush and the insider brush are perfect for this. The insider brush is good for the edges right here and the sampler brush is good for the flatter areas. You can find both these brushes and the paint at GoodsAndVintageTreasures.com The first coat of DIY White Swan will look pretty rough. And I also discovered another little chip I missed, so I took the wood putty, filled it in, sanded it off smooth. And now it's ready for the second coat of paint. After adding the second coat of paint, I decided it looked terribly plain, just white. So I had to add something, and I decided to add the Winter Song Wreath Transfer. I'll put half on one end table and half on the other end table. So that called for a coat of Big Top. I put Big Top over the whole piece, but you especially want to use Big Top underneath your transfer. After letting that dry overnight, it was ready for the transfer. When adding one of these black and white transfers, you have to press on every part of the black to get it up to transfer to your piece. And that takes a bit of time. When you finally get your transfer rubbed onto your piece, you'll be pleasantly surprised how much design it adds. And it goes from plain to a piece with pizzazz. When your transfer is applied, rub over it with your hand to make sure everything is down flat. And then I like to take the sheet that it came off of and rub that across it to burnish it. And then it's time to add another coat of Big Top to protect the transfer. And that's how you take two plain brown end tables and turn them into beautiful pieces. You can do it too. All the products you've seen here can be purchased at GoodsAndVintageTreasures.com. The DIY paint can be purchased at Picket Fence Antiques and More in Newton, North Carolina, and the IOD can be purchased at just around the corner in Lincoln, North Carolina. Be sure to hit subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell to get reminders when I make more videos like this one. Please like and comment. See you in our next video.